welcome to our Well You webisode on healthy tailgating. My name is Anna and I'm a registered dietitian here at the Campus Recreation Center. Something a lot of college kids do prior to tailgating is restrict calories earlier in the day. However, you don't want to do this because it will put your body into starvation mode which will cause your body to hang on to as many calories as it can. Therefore, when you indulge later in the day, it's going to slow down your metabolism and cause you to store more calories. First, let's start off with what you're grilling. Instead of grilling the same old hot dogs and hamburgers, try a grilled chicken breast or a veggie burger. Not only are they delicious alternatives, but they're also much lower in calories and fat. For example, a normal hamburger has about 380 calories, whereas a grilled chicken breast only has about 160. That way you would save 220 calories just by eating a chicken breast rather than a hamburger. Don't be afraid to stock up on some fresh vegetables and low-fat dip. Choosing vegetables over the normal chips and dip will not only save you a tremendous amount of calories, but also leave you feeling less hungry later and fill you up with some good vitamins and minerals. They're also a great side to pop on the grill and would be delicious with some grilled chicken. Another food choice you can make is using fresh fruit kebabs instead of calorie-dense cookies, brownies, and cakes. Not only will it satisfy your sweet taste buds, but it will also leave you with a feeling of fullness and good nutrition. It also matters where you hang out during the tailgate. Rather than hanging out right by the table, it's best to get a portion plate of food and move on and socialize. This will prevent mindless eating and consuming calories when you're not even hungry. It's important to focus on the social aspect of tailgating rather than making food the main focal point. It is also important to stay hydrated throughout the day when you're tailgating. We typically want you drinking between 6 and 8 glasses of water a day. In addition, if you're over the age of 21 and you're planning on having an alcoholic beverage, make sure you always follow it with a glass of water. Remember to always drink in moderation. Nothing good comes out of over drinking. All it leaves you with is a bunch of empty calories and a headache the next day. Thank you for watching our Well You webisode on healthy tailgating. For more healthy tips and delicious recipes, please visit our website at www.uc.edu slash well you. Remember, you see healthy choices, we see a well you.